Hi and hello guys. So today in this video, I will show you all as to how you can replace the existing Android TV launcher on your Android TV devices with the late Google TV launcher. Um, what we just saw in the latest uh, Google TV uh, Chromecast uh, device. So there is a prerequisite for this. So for this uh, hack to work, your uh, Android TV device should be running at least uh, the Android 9 version of the TV OS. Okay. So let us get started. So the first step is to enable the developer option for that go into settings and then device preferences and then choose about and then scroll down until you reach the option called build and now keep pressing on the build option until you activate the developer menu or developer option. Now head back into the device preferences menu and scroll down until you reach the developer options. Choose developer options and then in the developer options menu scroll down and enable USB debugging and now keep scrolling down until you reach an option called USB configuration. Okay, Select USB configuration and make sure to have it set to an option anything other than the charging option. Okay, So set it to anything it can be MTP, PTP whatever you want other than charging. Okay, So once you are sure of this just uh, come out of the menu and that is pretty much it what we need to do on the Android uh, TV device as of now. So now we have the uh, developer options enabled and now we have the ADB also enabled. So the next set of steps need to be performed on a PC. So grab a PC, we will get started with the subsequent steps. In order to communicate uh, with the Android TV device, we need a tool or a software called platform tools. This is available in the Android uh, Developer Studio website. So there are a different uh, set of options for here uh, based on the OS and based on the device that you are using. So you have tools for Windows, you have tools for Mac and Linux. I will leave the link for this website in the description of this video. Okay. So in my case, I am using a Windows device. So let me download the Windows version of the platform tools. So once the download is complete, head over to the directory where you have downloaded the platform tools, right click and choose extract here. So once the files are extracted, head over to the platform tools folder and then in the platform tools window, right hold shift and then right click and choose open PowerShell. Okay. And now we basically need two apps for uh, converting the Android uh, TV launcher to the Google TV launcher. Download those two apps. I will attach the links for those apps in the description of this video. Okay. So once you download them, uh, head back to the PowerShell and uh, type dot forward slash adb dot exe connect followed by the IP address of your Android TV device. In my case, the IP address of the Android TV device is 192.168.1.10. Your case, it could be different. Just make sure to have the correct IP address. Okay. And now press enter. So at this point, let me quickly pan to the Android TV screen. So in the Android TV screen, you will get a prompt to permit the USB debugging. Choose always allow for this computer and then choose OK. And uh, let's revert back to the uh, PC screen. You should get a prompt that you have been successfully connected to the Android uh, TV device. Now we need to push or install the two apps that we downloaded to the Android TV device. So the command for that is dot forward slash adb dot exe install and then get the path to the Android apps. So first uh, let me get the path to the launcher app, copy the path and then place it within quotes and then press enter. Now you will get a prompt that uh, installation is being uh, performed. 
after the installation is done you should get a success message okay so now get the path to the second app copy the path and then head back to the powershell replace the path to, for the previous app with the path to the second app and then press enter and again you will get a prompt that uh, the installation is being performed and subsequently the success message okay so now we have both these apps installed so next what we need to do is we need to uninstall the default launcher or disable the default launcher i will give the commands for uh, uninstalling the launcher in the description of this video okay so now type shell type dot forward slash adb dot exe space shell okay so this will connect uh, the adb to your android device okay so in my case the name of the device is one day in your case it could be uh, something else or different okay so now key in the command that i have given to remove the default launcher okay so again you will get the success message say it at any point of time if you want to revert back to the original launcher you can use a second command that i have given and again i will provide this in the description of the video so let me now quickly pan uh, to the android tv so now you can see the uh, google tv interface let me make a quick search so the search works so for some reason it says it is unable to load home uh, loading error i don't know why it is happening so in any case so that is pretty much it so that is how you can replace the default android uh, tv launcher with the latest google tv launcher on your android tv device so this will work with the raspberry pi uh, mi uh, box uh, sony tv etc so on and so forth any android tv so that is pretty much it i really hope that you find this uh, video useful and informative thanks for watching stay safe take care and bye bye